Uh, my deal is like with these clinics as well is is not everything that I do is going to be you agree with or that you want to coach with your teams and, and that's okay. Um, what I'm trying to plan to do is take you through some of the concepts that we have uh, within the Opals program and some of the concepts that we've had um, just in my season in the WNBA with the Atlanta Dream. So we're going to build this up and I know we've, we're short, we're going to be short on time so it's going to be 45 minutes to try and build team motion offense is going to be like going helter skelter but we'll try and get through like as much as we can but also get the teaching parts of it. So the reason why I guess uh, motion offense for one is going away more so from like set based offense as far as what happens when things break down out of your set offense because you're not going to score every possession out of every set that you have and so um, I know with the Opals we do a lot of breakdown drills out of like transition and about 14 second like reset and for Atlanta um, our whole season was we played motion offense for the whole season the only sets that we ran were from um, ATOs or after timeouts. Everything else was just motion based and we only had two weeks pre-season to put in a whole series of what we were gonna, how we were gonna play motion based offense. So today, mostly, you know, we're not gonna get into, you know, the things that are, that are important that we won't have time today is obviously spacing is number one, to create and have good spacing on offense. Secondary to that is timing. So timing of your screening, timing of your cutting, timing of movement away from the ball. So it's not just what happens on the ball, it's the movement that happens away from the ball. And there's some things that we won't do today because of just time restraints. We won't do a lot of uh, pick and roll offense just purely because we don't have time within 45 minutes to put in a lot. We'll put in some themes out of that, but we won't put in a lot. And probably after I guess um, if, if I look back now and if I get, went back and coached juniors, I think a, a very small portion of that would be pick and roll offense. Just purely because I think they need, kids need an understanding of how to play the game, not necessarily just play pick and roll. And uh, with the Opals, as the tournament went on at World Cup, we played less pick and roll and more set based movement offense and playing through the post. And then with um, our WNBA team, we played very little pick and roll because we didn't have guards who were good enough. So we scrapped um, any early or late pick and roll. Mostly it was uh, four out, one in and five out. So we'll get started with some, some themes. Girls, we are in pairs. We're ready to go. All right, it's so like come out. So a ball between each pair. So let's have a line come in from the baseline and a line up here with a basketball. So your partner down the baseline. So building up out of transition is what we call pistol action. So we know we're not gonna get through today. Everyone knows leading pass and cut. I'm not gonna like go through, through that stuff. So out of transition, what you can do, obviously in the half court, you wanna be able to make a lead and get open. But out of, out of transition, you run hard and, and fill the lane ahead we call this, you know, around the world pistol action. So you come up and catch it, foul line extended outside the three point line. So on this pass, usually my back is to the baseline because I've caught it out of transition. So I've run and caught it here. As you come now, you're setting up your defender, either a V cut inside and you're coming outside. Now, two things that I can do out of this, I can hand it off here and you can turn the corner and you're driving. As you drive, I want to fill to the basket. Okay, so you're gonna do those two things. You can either drive and lay it up, or you can drive and make a dump pass, a bounce pass into your player on the layup, okay? So the thing being is, you do this with speed. So as I'm coming up here, I'm sprinting, showing hands to the ball, jump stop, pivot, turn, and go. Okay, so we got that one on the first one. So everyone has one go at that. All right, so you're gonna call for the ball, jump stop, pivot, chin underneath the ball, and then go. Ready, here we go. Good, turn the corner, go, good. Next pair, next pair. Good, next pair, go. Good, next pair. Good, go. 
Drive, good. Next pet. So quick, call for it. Nice, good. Tell me when we're back to the start. We've got two more, two more. Yep, here we go. Hand off, roll. Nice, last one. So just some teaching points on this. The reason why we want to catch this out wide as much as possible. So you've got a like lane that you still go to drive on. So if we get caught out to here, there's nowhere other than you can go is like on a backdoor cut. So you want to catch it foul line extended and just on that three point line, okay? So now other action, you can come out of pistol action. So like I throw it, you come, I can fake this and then I'm going and now you would fill. So I can go middle layup or pocket pass on the fill, okay? So we're gonna do that. So spacing and timing, I'm here, I catch, yep. I fake it, I pivot off my inside foot, roll in, there, layup or dump pass, okay? Ready, here we go. Sprint, 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 jump stop. There, fake, roll, good. Next pair, go. Call for the ball, jump stop, fake it, good. Should be able to get one, two, bounce onto the basket. Fake, go, good. Next pair. Just go slow. Pivot, good. Nice. Jump stop, turn, pivot, good. Good. So fake, hand off. So make sure, girls, make sure you show it and then you're pivoting across. Okay, so turn, here you go. So you wanna fake the hand off, fake the hand off, go, good. So catch it nice and tight, chin the ball, fake. Good, go, good. Nice. We're back. Everyone been through? Yep. Okay, so the last thing we can do, two on zero out of this, is now we get this. Now you come and get it off me. Now you've gone to the corner. You haven't been able to get it. Now I space. You can kick it to me. You can come get another hand off or you can back cut. So this is where you're going to make reads out of it. So if you drive down there, yeah, and you kick it back to me, and your defender denies you, I'm going to dribble at you and back cut, okay? Your other read now is no, it's hard two on zero because there's no defense. Your other thing is you pitch it to me, you come and get another handoff again. So I can hand off, I'm rolling, your layup, okay? Or dump pass back in again. So the two things you can do is come off that to the corner, come back off it again, back cut, or another hand back, okay? The thing that we do um, in Opals that I don't think, and I, I hesitate to say it's probably not good in juniors, sometimes it's not great unless you have really good pick and roll players, is we dribble to the corner out of this, so you haven't got it, you've stretched it out, and what it will automatically do is come into like a corner pick and roll down here. Unless you have very good pick and roll players, because this is a great area for defenses like to trap, unless you have very good pick and roll players, I'd be saying no corner like pick and roll. We used to run this action when we had Leilani Mitchell because she was a great pick and roll player that could pass the ball. In juniors, you probably wouldn't do corner pick and rolls just because in seniors and juniors, I think it's too easy to trap. Okay, so we got that. So it's either a backdoor cut or what's the second option? Hand off, ready, here we go. So drive corner, good. Kick back, so back cut, good. There we go, here we go, next one. Hard drive, drive corner, good, pop it back. Back cut or hand off again, good. Gonna call what you do, back cut or hand off. So throw it back, good, dribble out. So dribble out, so you create that angle on the pass. Attack, good, throw back. 
good. Hold up. I got your spot for a second. I got your spot for a second. Now, as you come off this, actually, no, you're right. Come to here. So as you throw this here, this is another skill out of this part. I set up my lead. I come down here. Now, good players will see if they're open. Sometimes I want to be able to stop, reverse pivot, and throw that back. The other thing I can do is, as I come off this, I can see I can throw it over the top. So you just throw it back over the top so you can play with the different kind of pass. More than likely, my defender's gonna be trailing on the inside, so I'd wanna stop and pivot back that way. So I can pivot and make that a short pass. If I can't do that and I'm on the run, I can just take it down here and loop it back. Be ready to shoot it or drive it again. Okay, go. So pistol action, drive corner, kick it back, good. Back cut or hand off, good. Next pair, give me a hand back. Here you go. So don't back cut on this one. Come back and get it. Come back and get it. Yeah, throw it, come back, get it. Good, nice. One more, last one. Get a hand back. Good. All right, let's get me uh, two people out of this line come right up here to where the blue line is, okay? And then just the other person back, okay? So one stay here in the trail spot. So you'll be right in the trail spot. So now building this up, what you can do, so three on zero out of pistol action. So you're busting up here to get the ball. So you throw it, okay? You get the hand back, okay? So now as you're dribbling, what we can do is this player now comes into action. So we're not just talking about two people on the ball, it's the third person away from the ball. So now what I can do is I can come and flare you. So now you can flare off me for a shot. If you flare, where do you think you would go? Where do you think you would go if you're me? To the basket. So if she's gone away from the basket, my job is to the basket, okay? So some things come back again. So some things you can do. So you set the flare screen, you can flare. So now you're looking for that skip pass or you're diving, you're throwing it in there for the layup, okay? Come back again. If your defender now, you come and scream me. If your defender gets caught, come and scream me. Come, come, come. If your defender gets caught and you curl, where would you go now? Pop back, okay? So the two things you've got, you can flare, you can sh catch it, shoot it, or drive it, or you flare and the middle person's diving. Okay, we'll just do a couple of reps of that one. So only flares only and dive. So three on zero at a pistol. Here we go. It's a quick hit. There, there, flare it. Good, dive. Good. Here we go, next group of three. Good, hand, go get her, flare. Good, next group. Who's in the trail spot? Trail spot, trail spot. Come get it. Good, now play, now play. Good, good, good. That's it, nice shot, one more here. So kick it, who's in the trail? Good, come get it, flare it. Good, dive. Now the next group, instead of flaring off, your defender gets hit on the screen, you're gonna curl and pop. Okay, so you ready? So throw it, here, come scream me, come scream me, get hit, curl, pop back, nice, good, next group, next group of three, ready, here we go. So good, there, I help, come scream me, then go early, curl, pop, good. That's it, one more of those. So there, scream me, curl, pop. No, you're all right, yeah, you curl. Yep, go again, go again, you're all right. So if you were to make the read, if your player gets hit on the screen, you're gonna curl, okay? If they go through, you might pop. Ready? So there, hand back, go, good. Pop, there. All right, let's get me the ball back up there again. So now come out. So pistol action there. So now you flare. Now you don't hand it off this time, okay? So uh, different actions. So sometimes you might get it, sometimes they'll deny that. So come back to the start here again. So some good defenders, take it back to here where she's got the ball. Yep, so you throw it. 
will just face guard you as you come and try and deny you getting this pass back. So if they blow this up where you can't get this pass, you're going to come and set a middle ball screen. You're going to get right to the corner, okay? But hold right there. So now you've got two dribbles to use. Yep, so you're going to space it out here, search, and see, you're going to roll, okay? Now you have to create a short pass, okay? Why? Because this is like a long pass to make back over there. So you've got to now lift up. So your choice now is to throw it into here, throw it back to there, and if they throw it back to there, what are you going to do? Clear no. no. If the ball's there, what do you want to do? Seal, yeah, you like scoring, sure. especially close to the basket is better than threes, yep. So, so go back again here to the start. So come back in the trail spot. So we throw it, no hand back. Come scream me, good. Roll hard, lift, there and in. Why do we want to get you out of the corner? It's an easier, pass. easier pass, okay. So now a little bit of skill off this as well. Uh, come set the ball screen for me. So we, th we talked about throwback passes before. So if I'm coming off here, is I can pocket pass it, I can lob pass it, I can stop here, I can forward pivot and give it back to you, or the other skill we've got to get better at is come off to here, throw it back, okay, and get throwback passes, not necessarily off a two foot stop and two hands, okay? So you're gonna go that. So what I want is no handoff, middle ball screen, come off it, throw back, post up. Okay, here we go. So pitch, good. Ball screen, good. Throw back, post, go to work, good. Next one, go. Good. Nice, good. Next group, go. Who's in the trail spot? Good, come ball screen it, nice. Good, nice pass, nice pass. Are you a lefty? No, look very good. Good, screen it, throw back, good. That's all right, go to work, good. One more. Screen screener, 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 screener. Good. Now on that, you wanna take two dribbles off, okay? You take one, teams can like trap it and go, okay? So come back to the ball screen here how we advance this like now. So you come off it, two dribbles, get over. Short pass, yep. Now space, now throw it in. Now on this pass to the post, post screening action, you're gonna come and screen, okay? You're gonna hold for a count of two, just chin it, okay? I'm gonna come off, you're gonna dive, you can either hit me, you can either hit her, or you can make a post move. So as soon as we pass it to the post, post cutting rules off it. So screen up, flare, dive, or you can post up, okay, and go to work. Ready, here we go. So throw it in the post and move out of it. <coughs> so quick, hit, ball screen, throw back, good. Post up, good. Multiple actions, good. Next one, good. Next group, go. So get into post entry off the pistol action. Good, screen it, dribble off, that's it. Short pass. Good, screen away, good, dive, good. So you screen there, you can dive or you can space. Okay, here we go, next group. Nice throw back, get that shorter, get that shorter pass. Nice, one more, last one here. Here we go, last one, in the trail, good, ball screen, throw back, post entry, Good, screen away. Nice, cut off it. Good. Okay, so same action again. So we're gonna walk through this, so same action again. So hit it. So now we've gotta be able to play through the post. Yep, come off it, middle ball screen again. Middle ball screen again, you come off it. Yep, you're diving, you're throwing it back. Okay, now you space high. Okay, now when we throw this pass here, so post up, when we throw this pass here, I'm gonna just cut and fill out. Because sometimes we don't wanna screen away and bring our defense all in there, okay? Key rule is they're lower than the block, 
I want to cut through the elbow, so I don't want to take my defender where they can double team, okay? If they're higher than the block, I want to speed cut baseline, get my head to the edge of the backboard, okay? So you're making your read, depending on whether she's higher or below, okay? As she cuts, you need to start filling around and just hold, so you would have cut through on this. Yep, so you go, you go. And now, two things, um, this has become more prevalent, um, I guess we called it, um, we called it grenade for opals. I don't know why it's Sandy's terminology, so don't ask me about grenade. And for Atlanta, we called it high chase. Because for us, a chase was a dribble handoff. So for us at Atlanta, a high chase meant we were high dribble handoff. So what it was, was literally a grenade or a high chase was cut on a single side where the post player was. If they didn't think they had a move, that would dribble out to this player. So it'd be a high dribble handoff. So now you're coming to get the dribble handoff. Now, depending on personnel, I can pop, I can roll and play out of it. Okay, so do you get me? So, so come back, so come back to here. I'll just play your spot for a second. So you've thrown it into me. I'm below the block. I look, I go high chase there and I can pop and play out of it. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna throw it in the post, cut, and then you're gonna high chase or grenade out of the low post into any kind of shot. Ready, here we go. There, dribble off, throw back. Good, punch it in, cut. Good, high, nice, good. You can lay it up or pass it. Here you go, next group of three. He's in the trail. Good, throw back. That's all right, go again, go again, you're all right. Go again, right from the top. Good, next group, next group. Nice, good. Next one. Nice, that's it. One more now, one more, last one. No, so go again, go again, go again. So get to the middle pick and roll. So get to the pick, middle pick and roll and then throw back. So bust up. Good, hold on to it, hold on to it. So come over, throw back, punch it in, cut. Now high grenade, good. Nice job, finish it off there. Good work, girls. Any questions on any of that before we start moving on? We should have time for the end, nothing. We're all good. No. Um, when they're resetting and the um, person on the baseline's coming up with the ball, would you ever reset that first action we spoke about? It feels like they're in a similar position. You can. So it, all, it makes it, uh, depending on what the defense does, is like there's a lot of like rescreening action that you can do and like two people like action that you can play out of it. So all it is is trying to build up and drill that two man side and that three man side and depending on if they go over, if they go through, then definitely there's chances to rescreen and play off that. You probably wouldn't do it if there's like a low post, but definitely if there was like the, the two people like on their own, especially off um, dribble handoffs um, and more so pick and rolls. If people start to like go through or under, a lot more rescreening. Yep. Anything else? We're all good. Okay, so now we're gonna make a lead out. Okay, so pitch it there. Now front foot, so square up here. So square stance like here. You're gonna come and go side pick and roll. Okay, so off this now, you're taking two hard dribbles. You're on the roll, okay? You're gonna throw it to her either pocket pass or lob pass. I'll have another ball over here. So you're gonna pocket, I'll lob pass it and you're gonna get to the foul line and I'll throw it to you for a shot. Okay, so you get me on that. So we're gonna have two balls going, get through quick. So sprint to screen, hold your screen on the side pick and roll. Ready, here we go. So throw it, good. Screen, pop, good, pass. Next pair, go. Just rebound one ball back out to me. No, 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 side pick and roll. So you're gonna lead out to there first. Yep, so lead out, lead out first. Ready, oh, give me that one. Good, hit, square up, square up. Good, there we go. Next pair, go. 
Ah, uh, go back, go back, go back. So what we're working on now, so this is not the pistol action. Okay, so this is where normal basketball, you've come out to here, I've got a, like a lead, and I've caught it and I've squared up. Okay, so I'm looking to rip baseline. If not, they're coming to set a ball screen. Okay, so this is not pistol action anymore. This is just normal wing lead. Okay, so you got that, ready? Thank you. Here we go, so lead, square up, square up. Good, your shot here, good. Next movement, go. Good, shot, good, one ball here. Ready, square up, good. One more, one more. Uh, go back again, go back again, what did you do wrong? This is, this is where uh, better teams and better players, like once you get here, will just like rip and try and go against the ball screen, okay? So when you catch it, you're not standing here looking over your shoulder going, come screen me. It's like you're looking to attack baseline first. Can I get a layup without the screen coming? Okay, so don't stand here and catch it and go, I'm looking this way. That's what's gonna put the ball in the basket is looking up there, okay, not down the other end. Okay, so catch, square up, then play. Last one, here we go. Good, okay, so now we're gonna make the lead here. So throw it, catch, square up. So you come screaming now, okay? So now you come off it, now I'm defending you. Now if I go under the screen, anytime they go under or go through, you wanna stretch it out. Now if I go under, you're gonna turn and rescreen me. Okay, so now you can go back there. Now what does that cause? Switches? or it causes me now to be at a position where I've got to choose to either go over or go under this screen, okay? So now we're just gonna work on any time the defender goes under, you're gonna drag it out to here, stop, come get it, now play off. You can drive back baseline for a layup or you can roll down and you can pass it to your partner, okay? So you ready? Here we go, so lead, lead. Good, here, under, come get me again. Good, go speed, attack, nice, good. Next pair, go. Good, here, way, ah, come back. What did you do first? Didn't look at the basket. Didn't look at the basket. Yeah. Okay, next time's gonna be five push-ups. You think you can get five done? No, ready, here we go. Catch, good, square up, square up, good. Under, come get me, good, go speed, attack, eyes up, good. Next pair, go. Lead, catch, square up, square up, wait. Under, come get me. Good, go. Good, next pet. Good, under. Good, 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 good. Nice job. Two more, here we go. Lead, under. Good, be tight on your handle. One more to go. Last one. Catch. Good. Good, okay. So now what I want you to do, uh, split into four people. So I want two people high, two people in the corner. I've got a basketball. So everyone else is off. Okay, so the things now that you can do, you can go set a down screen, okay? You can come off with space, obviously you can roll, but if you roll, then get back out again, okay? On this side, you can set a pin down screen or a down screen, same thing, come off. Once you set one down screen, the next action has to be a flare screen. So you're gonna come up and set a flare screen. Same thing, you're going over, so you flare off it, right to the corner, sprint, pop. Okay, then same thing. So it's one down screen, one flare screen, okay? Once that happens, I'm gonna enter the ball to either one. Okay, I might enter the ball to you. I might enter the ball to you. You've got to play now in your split of the court. So what can you do with the ball from there? Score, handoff, what else? Ball screen, yep. What can you do with the ball from there? Score, what else? Pass, and what would you do if you passed it up to here? Cut, and what else? What else could you do? Screen, yeah, what else? I know I'm giving you lots of things. So you could pass, yep, and cut. You could pass, 
and come and set a step up screen or an angle screen or I could pass here and I can come get it and then we can play that action okay so we got lots of things you can do so you can pass it and cut you can pass it and screen yep and go the corner action come back again you might dribble hand off and play out of that action okay so now what we're going to do this is really going to test you it's going to be hard once i enter the ball you have to have three actions before you can score okay but you both got to get to the corner and to the top so you can't shortchange anything so you understand me okay so there's got to be three actions before you can score you can either set screens you can go dribble handoff you can go pick and roll all right so i'll start with that so you're both starting with screen down then a flare screen then i'm entering the ball and we're playing three actions and play live okay ready here we go so sprint to screen sprint off there's one flare screen flare screen good there play now play good now what makes this easier next uh that group come back out again that group come back out again how's this going to make it easier for your partner talking okay so if you're going to go here you go dribble hand off hand off all right hold the ball i'm coming to screen okay so i need to hear the action and i need to hear the first play the second the third so you might say dribble hand off one get action or ball screen two then whatever the action is on the third one then you play okay so there's got to be you got to call the action and call whether it's the first play the second the third and then you're scoring get me all right so start again up from the top so pin down screen then flare screen and play ready here we go sprint screen wait good one flare screen good good balls in go talk what you're doing keep going keep going good nice good action good next group of four in so call it loud be decisive girls like it's hard because there's no defense yeah okay so if you talk loud assertive and stay with the action you'll be okay all right are we ready go screen down wait 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 go back go back go back so screen down to start wait so this is the whole thing about number one's our spacing number two's timing so you gotta wait to a screen it comes to get you before you move ready here we go good there's one get the flare screen then we're playing good we're playing now we're playing now call out your actions good. so now you can still play off post stops you can play off gets but your best thing is hold and then talk to each other okay so it's hard on this who here who out of your girls hasn't got a mobile phone no one's not got a mobile phone yeah so it's a bit hard to text each other what you're going to do isn't it when you haven't got it yeah so we've got to be able to talk yeah i got one laugh at least not that funny am i ready go pin down good flare screen good play it play it good good call your actions one two and three one more set are going to go so all i'm going to say is before we go to the last set is yeah basketball when you come off any of these actions okay so say you throw it here and i go ball screen you yep don't just like hang around to here you want to like be turning the corner to drive and score you can always drive into here and i can retreat dribble back out again and play again okay but you got to get your spacing to to the baseline spot and back to this spot after each action okay so you're not just playing around in like a little circle okay ready last one here we go pin down good flare screen good nice there we go call them out good 
Nice, good. Okay, we're happy with that. So let's now get me uh, four out uh, and give me a post player in the low post. So let's go out to the wing. You can come into there, come up to here, go out into the corner, okay? So now only one basketball. So now what can we do on this side of the floor? What can you three do right now? What can you do with the ball? Dribble handoff, yeah, what else? You could pass it and do what? Yeah, go pick and roll. What else? Pass to the post, yep. What else? Pass, cut through. Yep, so you got that action over there. So now we always talk about what happens on the ball side action. What can you do while the ball's happening over here? Yep, so set a flare screen. Yep, go back again. What else can you do? You can get a pin down screen. Yeah, what else? Exchange, like it's easy, okay? So you guys are on exchange. But what you're doing in a game too, and there's a thing that we don't teach a lot of, is while there's action and movement off the ball is where there's opportunities, and we can't get to this today, but where there's opportunities to cut in behind. Uh, if you watch the World Cup, Asian teams are very good, especially uh, China and Japan at back cutting in behind. So if the ball goes in, you turn your head and like, look, there's a, there's a backdoor like layup. So it's a thing that we haven't got time for today, but as you progress this, it's about movement on the backside, but also reading that if I turn my head and like, look here as you're going to screen, you might be going to screen your player on a pin down and you see me turn my head, you might just automatically cut. The same thing, you might be going to set a flare screen and, my play, and your player's like looking here, back cut and go. Okay, so we won't do that for right now. So you're gonna play one action on this side. The ball's gotta change sides of the floor and then there's a score. Okay, so you can go dribble handoff, you can pitch and go ball screen, you can play out of it. So now, yep, so you got action while that's happening. There, once there's been one action here, we throw it across, there. You guys, ah, no, stay there, you're right, stay there. You got two man action, so play your action. What are you guys gonna do now? You can exchange, you can pin down. Now come off this, kick it here. Now I want you to throw it either into the post from you or into the post from the corner, okay? If it comes from the corner, what are you gonna do? Move, where are you gonna move to? Yep, and now you would space up here and then I wanna end it with a grenade. So you're gonna dribble up and attack that. You're gonna score or kick it to the corner or throw it back to someone for a shot. Okay, we got that. So we're just gonna play actions out of it now. So one action on the post side, one action on the weak side, we throw it into the post on the way back. Ready, here we go. Good, good, movement again, movement again. Good. There, good. Post, grenade it. Good, fill around. Good, now just go back to that grenade. Just hold that for a second. So now we've got to get to where we've got to fill receiver spots because now we've got one, two, three on one side of the floor, okay? A lot of traffic and a lot of defense. So ball's in here. You go grenade, yep, so you dribble it up here, okay? You're coming down, you're coming to score. You can't pop because we want a presence on the basket, right? So you're driving down. Now where does the floor, space on the floor tell you to go? Exactly, okay? You've got to stay corner because if we drive corner, we want that kick and we want an extra pass. But if, I, if you get cut off here, so you're dribbling in here, now you get cut off, a good defender, she's got to have you back there as a safety, okay? And you might even be like over a little bit more, okay? So we can't have three on the same side of the floor. You see baseline or middle penetration, we've got to be able to fill around, okay? So the same action again, post side, weak side, back to the post again. Change spots, hold up, no, go again, right from the very start, but I want you to change spots. Change spots on the floor. Uh, yep, that's it, ready, here we go. There, good, dribble out, good, kick it, action, good. There. Good, kick it, cut, grenade it. Good, fill, 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 fill. Good, there, shot. Okay, here we go. So now, uh, new group of four, five in. New group of five. Okay, so now, say you pass it. 
Yeah, and we don't always like going to a dribble handoff for a side ball screen. So you're posting up there and say you decide to cut through. Yep. Now, where is the space on the floor telling you to go? Yep. So you got to fill. Okay. So now come. Yep. So now kick. Yep. Kick. There. Now get into your second side action. But now I want you to say you've been denied. Okay. So what's your read on being denied? Back cut. Okay. So you'd fill in around because you dribble at her to create an angle of the back cut. Where have you got to go? Yep. Fill. Kick. Kick. I want you to go now, dribble handoff. Yep, throw back. Post up. Now play. We got that. So it's pass cut, ball reverse, back into the post entry on the throwback. We got that. Here we go. So good. Pass cut. Lead, quick fill around, fill around. You might have to dribble out of the corner. Kick it, back cut. Fill, 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 fill. Good, kick. Post entry. Here, right, here you go. Here you go. Post entry. There, cutters, grenade it. Nice. Good. All right, so that, that group stay in here. Here we go. So back up to here. Now I'm going to let you play. Okay, I'm going to let you play. You need to make five passes before you score. You can still throw it to the post. Okay, but there needs to be five passes before you can score. If the ball goes away from you and somebody cuts, you need to do what? Exchange, Exchange or fill. Okay, you need to fill. Why do we want short passes? Why do we want to fill? Easier to pass it because if you don't have short passes, they become long passes and then people steal them. Okay, so five passes. Ready? We're starting this side. Go. There's one, two, keep going, ah, yeah, that's okay. So if you decide to cut, you can cut because in a game it might have been that she passed it, your man turned and it's okay. Okay, so the worst thing you can do is like stand. What else can we have here? You can always screen away from here. Okay, you don't have to like cut that way. You can screen away and fill that way. I might screen away for you and then I might go and she might flare me or I might go and get a pin down. Okay, so back to the top. Five passes, no indecision. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Now you're looking to score. Cut. Good. Now you're going to do that again. What's going to be better? What's going to be better? Talk. Talk. Yes, please. Okay, ready? Last chance. If we don't talk, we got five up and backs. Five. Got me? Go. One. Two. Keep going. Three. Four. Five. Go to score. Good. See the threat, the threat of running increases talk. Okay. Last thing I want to put in, um, just from a standpoint of it was something that I hadn't used a lot that we did um, a lot with Atlanta was uh, when there was any kind of two guard front and this wasn't like a big, even sometimes it was our bigger four in the trail spot, we would run, um, we called them either dribble ats or flies where you would pass and you would literally cut through. So you would cut and then we'd try and drive on her heels. So come back again. So what it would look like is I'm guarding you here. You throw it, you're coming through and now you're like dribble attacking right through there, okay? The other thing that we had rather than take the ball back up to here again as well is we had it like as a pass or a dribble. So it would be a dribble flip where you dribble but come back again. You're dribbling at her defender. Okay, so I'm playing in good help position. You dribble, you flip it, you're attacking. You can either roll, you can either pop, depending on like what side of the floor it is. Okay, so come back again. Ball's going to start here. Okay, you're going to either pass it and cut across her face or you're going to go dribble flip. Okay, and then play out of it. Same thing, five passes after that entry. Okay, here we go. One, two... 
Three, moving on the weak side. Four, five, now look to score. Good. Next group of five in, last one, last one. If you're not louder than the last group, you have 10 up and backs. Hear me? Good, louder. Yep, ready? You know what you're doing? What are you gonna do first? Yeah, no, no. You're gonna go pass and cut or dribble hand off to her. Ready? Here we go. Talk. One. Oh. oh, come back. Stop, stop, stop. How do we rate ourselves with our talk? Does it look messy? Yep. Does it feel messy? Yep. So talk, so you gotta say flip, pass, screen, ball screen, dribble handoff, flare. There's gotta be action, okay? So if you say something, the person below you or above you can hear what you're doing. Ready, here we go. It's gotta be good. Two, good. Three, four, five. Nice, good work. One more set, one more set and we're done. Here we go, another group, another group, another group. So now off this one, this is gonna be the last thing before we turn it over. There has gotta be, you gotta get two feet inside the paint. Okay, so if you come off a dribble handoff, if you come off a ball screen, or you may just decide to drive and kick, but you've gotta get feet inside the paint get a kick out pass before you can score. Okay, but it doesn't only have to be one, it can be like two, but you've got to get feet inside the paint. Okay, we're ready, go. One. Ah, go back. What'd you do wrong? What'd you do wrong? I'm into attack. Attack, yeah, because you're not gonna take one dribble, so come back again. It's important. So she gets you, I'm guarding you. You take one dribble, I can stay with you. Okay, so you want to stretch it out, yeah. why it creates more space, because if you want to throw it back, it's harder for your defender to get back there or you can throw it that way. Yeah. Okay, here we go, go again. Remember, you got to get feet inside the paint. You got to get feet inside the paint. Good, one. Two. Three. Four. All right, come back to the start. Good shot, come back to the start. So look at now where Ari is. So start off how you did. Start off how you did. Uh, ball was there. So start off how you did. Now, where can you get feet in the paint right now? There. Yep, so if I get into here, okay, and now you haven't got a shot, you can always kick it back out. So what else have you got is come in here. Another important fact is just don't pick your dribble up. So if you get into here and you don't like it, you can retreat, dribble back out again, okay? You wanna then get back to the corner and create space, okay? Now, which way are you gonna go with it? Probably should go that way. Go that way, so you got the dribble, so now, good, ball screen. You wanna attack here. Now, if you don't get it, you can always retreat, dribble back out again. So these are all the things about, don't just play dribble handoffs or ball screens to dribble around the three point line. I wanna search into here. If I don't like it, I can still kick it, or I can dribble retreat back out again. I might go the same side, I might skip it. Okay, so you're gonna have one more go, you gotta get in the paint, okay? Dribble handoffs, ball screens, cuts. Good, good. Keep going, keep going, good. One. Two, nice. Space, space, space. Three. Four. Look at the post, good, five. All right, done. Girls can grab a quick drink. So remember, you can always like look into the post player like too, yep, okay. Good work. I know that was kind of a quick mashup of it, but any questions on any of that? We did, as I said, we played with Atlanta. We played motion the whole entire season and we had like two weeks to practice just playing with no sets. We had like literally like no sets at all. We played the whole entire season playing motion and then 
our head coach would only draw up plays out of ATOs and that's the only sets that we ran other than maybe the first player of the game was a set off a whiteboard. Um, and it was difficult. Um, we, we still struggled with it towards the end of the season of not playing any pick and roll just because our head coach didn't think and it, was, and it was right that we didn't have pick and roll players. So we just took out all pick and roll out of it. We just played four out, one in most of the time. We had, with, I guess with Opals it was all, and with anything, it's like rim run first and then like choose a side what you want, where you want to like play at. So that was our most rule. Uh, with Atlanta, our head coach was big on um, either if you weren't at the block, you had to play, she called it like the dunker spot, you had to play here. So if you weren't actually going to like post up, you actually had to play literally heels to the baseline and play in this spot because when the ball came in, then she'd want you to like duck in and try and like create space that way. Um, but we never, in Atlanta, we, we played at the low post, but most of the time it was playing to this short corner and we called it like the dunker spot for where we played at. Yeah, yeah we can't like, yeah. And that's the other whole like layer of where do you want to, you, you can keep your players like low, you can bring them high, play pinch post if you can't, as like if people are blowing up things and denying things, then play off the high post, play off split action. So that's only like a, a short sample of what you can do, but mostly with the post low. And I think... With the ovals, we didn't seem to come off and get into the paint. We seem to be playing around the three point line. Was that a, like deliberate or...? I think it got to do with the skill set of like some of our players, like probably Beck Allen is really good catch and shoot. Steph Talbot is probably used to be really good at penetrate, but now she's like more of catch and shoot. So we didn't really have anyone other than probably, uh, probably Christy Wallace was probably like the best at getting feet into the paint. We just didn't have that kind of personnel, I guess. And that's why we, we went less, I guess, pick and roll stuff and there was less dribble penetration into the paint. And also is like, as the standard goes up and you're playing against some bigs is like, you know, China, you play, you know, if you go on the paint, you better have a really good flow to game or you better be shooting it from the perimeter. Yeah. That's not to say it shouldn't go like in there, but I think just the size and the length of some of the opposition teams, it was hard to, to get in the paint against the length and the size. Anything else? Hey, mate, how are you? You say you struggled with or without the pick and roll? With Atlanta? Yeah. We struggled with the pick and roll. So she had, we had plans on um, playing this motion based and we, she only wanted to set like flat screens. Everything had to be a flat like step up screens. We never even got there in pre-season because we struggled with that. We struggled with our girls just getting those like concepts. So we put in um, just receiver principles for our girls and hopefully they don't hear this, but we were terrible. Like they did not know how to get to receiver spots. They did not know how to baseline drive, fill the corner, short pass. So we spent literally two weeks of preseason just breaking down, down those kind of actions and driving, kicking, filling. And it, and it still took us to the end of the season. We were still having to yell about people filling behind and getting to spots. So it's just something that I don't think when you're set based all the time is your players don't then read and react about where the ball needs to like go. When the five, how did the five go with that space in the middle corner when they caught the ball? <laughs> Struggled. Yeah. Struggled. But she more so wanted it is like flatten out the defence and then as the pass come, that's when you would like duck in. So it wasn't that they were down there from an offensive perspective to give them the ball. It was more so if you didn't run there and post up and it was more so really if that we didn't have a back to the basket post, it was like run and play space. And then if you had the opportunity to dunk in, we could feed you and then go into the, like the grenade or high chase stuff. Um, but yeah, when we, we had our review at the end of the season and she was just like, too bad, we're just gonna have to go back and reteach pick and roll. And that's why if I came back, I think now to, to be a head coach anywhere, whether it was juniors or seniors, I think I'd start with doing more of those breakdown dribble penetration, receiver spot principles. We didn't even get to that like that today about just breaking down. Because 
literally when sets break down or you get an offensive rebound there's 14 seconds put back on the shot clock you, you haven't got time to run a set you've actually just got to play basketball so it's how you teach your players to play in broken plays or they run a set your set's only going to last 10 12 seconds what happens when you break out of that is they've got to make decisions based on what the defense gives them but it also goes back to the first point about where are they spacing the floor to where is their timing on their cuts being disciplined about waiting for screens and we still had that with the opals like constantly about uh, in our screening action people coming off whether it was pick and roll or any kind of screening action way too quick because they just wanted to get to the ball so I, I think it's just a, it's a hard thing because you've got to spend time on it but you don't actually see the reward of it straight away versus when you're running like a set play because you've got time and continuity to keep running that through.